Is the data structures and algorithm specialization on Coursera worth it? This is a comprehensive set of courses designed to help you with understanding data structures and algorithms. And these are all crucial components in the world of programming as they're the foundation that you're going to build your coding skills on. And in simple terms, data structures are methods of organizing and storing data, while algorithms are sets of rules that we perform on this data. You're going to learn about many types of them in these courses, ranging from hash maps and dictionaries to lists and arrays, and not to mention a bunch of algorithms like divide and conquer and greedy algorithms. One great thing about the specialization is that you can use multiple programming languages for the algorithmic assignments. You can use Python, you can use C++ and Java, so you're good to go regardless of your preference. Now let's look at the courses in this specialization. And the first one is Algorithmic Toolbox. And this one gives you a solid grounding in basic algorithmic techniques that come in handy for a wide range of problems. You're going to learn how to sort data, how to break down large problems into manageable parts and when it actually makes sense to proceed greedily. Next up is data structures and in this one you're going to learn about how to implement common data structures in different programming languages and you're going to understand the inner workings of a built-in data structure implementation. The third course focuses on algorithms on graphs. And a graph in the context of computer science is essentially a network. So if you consider a social network like Facebook, each user is a node and the relationships between them form the edges of the graph. So graphs are actually widely used in coding and this course will help you use them effectively. The fourth course focuses on algorithms on strings and these algorithms are pretty common in programming interviews for entry level and mid level jobs. And the fifth one looks at advanced algorithms and complexity and this is a deep dive into more complex concepts. You're going to learn about network flows and linear programming, but to be honest, after going through the first four courses, you might actually want to move on to practicing what you learned. You need to do that for a bit before starting this one because it may feel a little bit overwhelming. And finally, the sixth course is a capstone project. This is a great course to apply all of the knowledge that you've gained in the previous five courses and you can solve a complex real world problem. And also this can be a great addition to your portfolio because you can demonstrate your proficiency in applying data structures and algorithms. So what do I think about this specialization? I think it's a great and comprehensive and well-structured program because I think the first four courses provide you with a very strong foundation in algorithms and data structures, you know, and these are really great to be revisited whenever you need a refresher or straight up learn them for the first time. In terms of the value of the certificate, I think it's definitely a strong credential because this is an in-depth specialization compared to other ones because it covers a lot more ground than other similar courses. Also, by having it, it shows commitment and the fact that the assignments aren't that easy is definitely a plus for me because when you complete specializations that are well above average in terms of assignment complexity, I think the value of the certificate actually triples in my eyes. And I also believe that the employers that are well aware of this space feel the same way. In conclusion, if you're aiming for a software engineering role, this specialization can be a game changer because it's going to help you gain the knowledge and the skills that you need in order to solve complex coding challenges, to pass coding interviews, and ultimately to become a better programmer. If you're interested in signing up for this specialization, I'll put the link down below in the description for it so you can definitely check that one out. And that's it for me guys and as always I hope that you found this video helpful and that I brought value to you. Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I'll see you in the next one.